Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at the process of transcription in a little bit more detail. We're going to talk about genes and what's contained in genes. We're then going to look at the process of transcription and the product of transcription being messenger RNA. Alright, so firstly genes. We know that a gene is a section of DNA, so a whole chain of base pairs that's found in the chromosome and it codes for a polypeptide being the building blocks of protein made up of amino acids. However, within that gene, there's different sections. Some of these sections code for amino acids directly and they're called exons, while other parts of that gene, uh, sections in the chain, don't actually code for any amino acids. And these are introns and they're basically just extra DNA that's there and we're not entirely sure why it's there or whether it's there for any purposes at this stage. So the process of transcription there's an enzyme called RNA polymerase it unwinds the DNA at, this, at the section of the DNA that is going to be transcribed and it knows where to unwind that because there is what's called a start codon. So it's a little sequence that tells the RNA firstly where to bind to and where to start unwinding the DNA. It then produces a strand of mRNA, messenger RNA, and then it puts the keeps on producing that strand until it gets to the stop codon, or, which is a sequence of base pairs that tells the RNA polymerase where to stop uh, co transcribing that DNA into the mRNA. mRNA is fairly similar to DNA. Uh, rather than having the deoxyribose sugar backbone, it has a ribose sugar backbone. Uh, being that it has an extra oxygen in it. Uh, it consists of four bases, the same as DNA. However, the big however here, uh, instead of thymine, which is found in DNA, RNA has uracil, which is a different base. It works exactly the same as thymine. It's the one that bonds with the adenine, or is in this case transcribed from the adenine, uh, but mRNA does not contain thymine. And because it's only one stranded, so it's not bonded with its complementary base pair, uh, it is a single helix rather than a double helix of the DNA. So the mRNA is made of a long chain of bases. Now each of these three bases together is called a codon and codes for a particular amino acid. However, there are different, more codons than there are amino acids. So multiple codons or multiple sequences of bases could code for the same amino acid. After this, the introns are cut out, so it's sort of trimmed. So getting rid of the introns, those sections of the mRNA that don't code for amino acids, and then it's glued back together before leaving the nucleus. So by the time the mRNA leaves the nucleus, it is a chain of codons that code directly for the amino acids with none of that uh, junk DNA between them. In this video, we've talked about genes being a section of DNA that codes for a polypeptide with some sections of that DNA that code for the amino acids in the polypeptide while some don't code for anything and are cut out at a later stage. We've talked about transcription, a process occur that occurs with the help of RNA polymerase that creates an mRNA chain uh, that mRNA chain is a single helix strand made up of codons that are three bases each. Uh, and those codons can be AU and GC. Okay, so here we've got the uracil instead of the thymine. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.